In this tutorial, we'll be talking about nested loops. A nested loop is a loop within a loop. So for this demonstration, we're going to use for loops. So we're going to say for, get our parentheses, and automatically put our semicolons inside, get our curly braces, and here we're going to initialize our variable before the first semicolon so we're going to say int i so integer i equals one so we initialize that variable as i equal to one now we're going to set our boolean expression we're going to say as long as i is less than five less than or equal to, so we're going to add an equal sign, less than or equal to 5. And after that, we're going to increment it, i plus plus. And we're going to add another loop for integer j equals 1, semicolon j less than or equal to 5 semicolon j plus plus increment it get our curly braces enter another loop for int k equals 1 semicolon space this out k less than or equal to 5 semicolon k plus plus and we can go on forever but we're going to stop here so I can explain what's going on and we're going to get a system that out that print line And we're simply going to add all of our variables. So we're going to say i plus. We're going to get a string here for a space plus j. Let's just space it out, make it look easier to read. And we have to add a plus here, space, add another plus and k and semicolon now we have our loops so we have a loop within a loop within a loop so we have three loops so we're going to run it and as we look at our look at the outcome here with nested loops the outer loop which is our third loop, k, has to finish before the next loop can run, and our second loop has to finish before our first loop can run. So it's in order. So as we see here, it goes one, two, three, four, five, and then as you see, our next loop starts at two. One, two, three, four, five, three. So our first loop has to finish for our second loop to start, and our first loop, our very first loop, can only start after the second loop has finished. So you can see in our first loop we have all ones until our second loop is finished. Then we start with twos. So this this works for nested loops is good for I was reading a couple of things and you can see a nested loop as an odometer as you see you're you're driving down the road and your miles are going up and it's going fast in one column and slow in the other column you can look at it as that and also with companies nested loops are used for uh, sorting and we'll, we'll we'll talk about sorting in other videos this is just a, a nested loops video and we can also just keep adding loops and 
give you more demonstration of how it works. So ants, we're just going to keep going up the alphabet. So I, J, K, L. So ant L equals 1, semicolon, L, less than or equal to 5. And we're saying 5 so the, the code doesn't run all the way off the page. And we're going to say L plus plus increment it. And now what we're going to do here is we have to add our curly braces. So let's enter. Let's close it. And we simply space it out. And add our a space. And L. Now let's run this. And you see we have four lines of code. Well, four lines of executed code and as you can see same same situation the first the last code has to finish before the the third code and this and then the second code and the first code so you can see how the numbers one two three four five the sec the third code goes five and then the second code goes until it it hits five and once it's equal to five the first code goes. So these are nested loops. And that's all for this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thank you.